Jona Ford, Helvien Eš Ngaji, Aj Nevem Vira Krajčková, Eš en Vadiok, As Igas Gato, Eduard Pekišta Konštva. On behalf of myself, my colleagues, and the town's representatives, I would like to thank the organizers for preparing this meeting and for interesting topics that we will discuss today. Thank you also for the opportunity to attend this conference, get uh, to know your beautiful town, and to meet Latgerians from the other twin cities. Because my English isn't very good, uh, our lectures will be presented by my deputy, Mrs. Jaroslava Fialová, who I give the floor now. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, in the Czech Republic, as well as in your library, we ask the questions to which we are looking for answers today. <clears throat> Information society is defined as a society based on the integration of information and communication technologies with all spheres of social life in the way what, that totally changes social relations and processes. High-speed internet, mobile communication, mass digitization of documents, expanding e-books and changes in people's information needs, lead libraries to transform offered services, improve their availability, reliability and flexibility. In the Czech Republic, almost 6,000 public libraries, along with specialized libraries, serve the public. Public libraries annually provide more than 75 million loans of books and other documents to all their users. The number of visitors exceeds 24 million per year. The concept of Czech libraries development in the years 2011 till 2015 expresses the vision of the Czech librarianship in these words. Client says, in the beautiful, friendly and comfortable library, quickly served by pleasant, qualified, apparently satisfied and motivated staff, I will obtain required quality service free of charge, even from the comfort of home, regardless of nationality or handicap, any time, day or night. To support this vision, the central portal of Czech libraries is being developed. This portal enables each user of any library to obtain required documents in traditional printed or digital form and prompt comprehensive information anywhere and anytime. The activities of public libraries in the Czech Republic are influenced by other documents. For example, Library Act, the standard for a good library, the methodical <coughs> instruction on securing regional functions and other. Now let me introduce our library. <coughs> The library of Eduard Petiška in Brandis nad Labem, Stará Boleslav, is a public library established by the town Brandis nad Labem, Stará Boleslav. This town was created in 1960 by the merger of two separate towns. Each of these towns had its own library, which were joined in 1964. Currently, the library has these departments. Adult department, children's department, study room and playroom, French Stara Boleslav, and processing department with 10 professional librarians with secondary and university education who work there. Library services are free, including access to the internet on the library PC, or via Wi-Fi. Readers only pay a registration fee of 100 Czech crown 
and 50 Czech crown for children, students and seniors. Costs of interlibrary loan and fees for default on date due. In 2013, more than 103,000 books, periodicals and audio books were lent. 3,011 readers registered, that means 17% of the population of town. 910 children under 15 years, that means 34% all children in the town. Some services may be used without registration. Use of the reading room, information requests, in-library use, attending lectures, discussions, also readings. The library was visited by about 43,000 visitors, more than 11,000 used online services, ordering research and renewal of a loan and book reservation. We cooperate with schools, nursery, primary and secondary on the expansion of reader and informational literacy of pupils and students. We process bibliographical and subject matter search for student papers and thesis. It's free. We promote eminent personalities of the town or district and local history by organizing lectures, authors readings, composed programs, exhibitions. For the second year, we realize a project for seniors called Write Your Story, Capture Your Memories. This project offers seniors an opportunity of literary competition, competition called El Bevilo, and rendering of memories on the town, region, private life. In collaboration with management and students of Gymnasium Yes Mahara, we capture the oral history. As a specific feature of our library, we collaborate with 13 community libraries of the region, for which we purchase library collection and act as a guidance and counseling center beyond the services guaranteed by the state. We gladly support non-professional librarians with advice and assistance. <coughs> there are some photos from our library. Question number one. What are the answers to the digital challenges of information society in foreign libraries? The future of libraries depends on the ability to quickly and readily react to society changes and challenges. The library must be informational, educational, cultural, community center of the village, city and region. The following library activities 
other means to achieve this goal. <coughs> Collecting long-term preservation and ensuring accessibility to emerging digital wealth and traditional cultural heritage. Services that guarantee equal access to information and knowledge available in printed and digital documents focused on electronic information services. Building a comfortable and neutral space for leisure activities, meetings and informational education that connects people and groups or organizations increase the level of library staff skills. The short answer to the first question is, libraries in the digital age must become a mediator between information and its users and at the same time a pleasant, friendly, comfortable place to mutual meetings of people. <clears throat> Question number two. What kind of progressive new services are needed to suit the user's needs? The response to the above mentioned question is the vision of our library. <coughs> library of Eduard Petishka as a prison place to study and trust for all. Some of the new services can be specified already now. Blending of ebooks, blending of board games, providing remote access to digitized documents, especially from regional collection libraries, <coughs> use of the central portal of Czech libraries, possibility of online payments for library services, electronic document delivery, studying in the library assistance and advice on studying and doing homework, development of library community functions through greater cooperation with organization in the local or region, offer of special leisure activities for specific target groups, pensioners, parents on parental leave, teens, and so on, involvement of public and the library activities, for example, assistance in organizing events or development of team club. Involvement of volunteers, students, seniors, and so on. Providing some of these services, lending e-books, electronic document delivery, and access to digitized documents outside the library are significantly restricted by copyright. There are other services we cannot name now but which will be based on social interest and will react to the development of technology and process of digitization. We will always focus on the citizen, user, reader, while the technology will only be a means to satisfy their needs and requirements. The answer to the second question is, the new services which respond to requirements of users in the locality and region or to society-wide situation and are focused and ensuring access to information available in printed and electronic documents and offering a pleasant, positive place to meet. <coughs> Question number three. What is the public opinion about the role of library libraries in our town? Yeah, what are the expectations of use there? Finding answers to these two questions was the most challenging for us. So, what is the public opinion about the role libraries in our town? A survey of public opinion in the library has not yet been performed. From the fact that the library is visited by more than 40,000 users per year, 
other nearly 11,000 visit the library virtually via web or electronic communication. A relatively large interest in its services can be deduced. The opinion of those citizens who do not visit the library regarding library usefulness is not known. We suppose that such survey would replicate the results of other surveys where the respondents evaluated libraries as positive and useful institutions. For how long it will be, so in this highly competitive environment, depends on us, the librarians. The answer to this question is unknown. We can only assume. Due to the continuing interest in library services and increased interest of organization clubs and associations to cooperate with the library, it is perceived as an institution providing diverse, high quality <coughs> and valuable services. What are the expectations of use? It is difficult to determine the age limit of the target group we are referring to. There is a communication barrier between this age category and adults. It is very difficult to obtain information about the expectations and ideas of young people, except for the pupils and students who visit us due to compulsory reading. Currently, we are trying to create a space intended mainly for teenagers. We approached the young public through a survey in an electronic form on the website, as well as in a printed form in the library and in the local press. We asked two questions. According to your opinion, which area shouldn't be missing? How would this area be called? And the result is, in the, in the area called Den, Kashijok, Lang, Teens Time, the respondents would like to have access to books and magazines, but also to board games, audio recordings, listening to music, computers, high-speed Wi-Fi connection, comfortable seating, and refreshments. In general, if we are to attract the young generation to library, the library must be presented as a public space where young people can do what they like, to study, have fun, be together, and feel good. It should, it should be a place easily accessible for free or for a reasonable price with a welcoming and comfortable atmosphere for meeting of old and new friends. It must be accompanied by media or every kind of every kind, quality equipment, refreshments, and last but not least, friendly, knowledgeable staff. The answer to the last question. To help young people create a public space that offers an opportunity to do what users like, to study, have fun, be together, and feel good. <clears throat> Conclusion. The opening words of the UNESCO Public Library Manifesto. The public library, the local gateway to world of knowledge provides. Formulate the basic idea of public libraries function now and in the future. <coughs> the terms local getaway and word of knowledge are crucial. The current information society transforms the basic functions of libraries and their services to users. The important focus on the locality or the region in which the library operates and on providing information in any form <coughs> printed electronic audio still remains. <coughs> Personal approach to clients, users, visitors and or readers and establishing a pleasant cozy space provide us with a means how to react to the challenges of digital information society. Thank you for your attention.
Köszönöm a figyelmet.